Well, welcome back to the let's straighten my hat version of Babylon with Bob. Now today, today is uh, I can't believe it version. Let me take this shit off. I uh, I need surgery on my left knee, knee replacement, and I've been to the VA emergency room. Don't want pain meds. I don't want them. I want a resolution to my knee that needs to be fixed, that they told me needs to be replaced. Um, the pain, it's osteoarthritis and a bone degeneration, I don't know, a couple things. Um, I can't put any pressure on it whatsoever, none, none. <laughs> and when I do, and I feel like I'm taking off to the moon. It, it, yeah. And I used to think I had a, a high pay tolerance, but either I'm getting older, nah, me, um, or it, it just hurts like hell. Period, flat out. But um, I've been to the VA, ER. They took X-ray. So oh, it's osteoarthritis, and uh, they basically gave me a lollipop and a band-aid. And then uh, I went to later on, a week later, week and a half later, um, since I haven't heard from my doctor, and I've, the only way to really contact them is through this thing called My Healthy Vet, and you can contact them through a security email. And uh, I did that, and you got Sadie down there barking, or where's she at? She sees another dog. You stay, hey, Sadie, <laughs> Sadie. Is it right? Oh, <laughs> you poor baby. <laughs> We're at uh, uh, the Sadie Park by the house here. And um, I think she's at the dog park. But um, where was Where the hell was I? Okay. VAER took an x-ray and gave me a lollipop and a Band-Aid. <laughs> I'm being a smart ass. And then I went to Summerlin Hospital. And, uh, yeah, they're cool there. But same thing. Um, give me a referral to an orthopedic surgeon. Why can't you just get this shit done? I can't walk. I can't walk. Thank God this lady um, donated a one of those electric scooters to me. And without that, I can't get around. There's no way. So I'm glad I got that. And I can take it apart and put it in the trunk and uh, go places. Like I got to go shopping today. And uh, I I'm not going to accept not being able to do something. I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to get out there and do things and uh, get things done. Uh, I just, I, no. It, does it hurt? Oh, hell yeah, it hurts. Fix this shit. Come on, that's all I'm asking for. Um, I can't get community care, which is offered to the VA, if you can't get an appointment within 30 days. Um, well, this will have been a lot more than 30 days, okay? And nobody can get me in. My doc, I got an email from the nurse for my doctor at the VA saying that uh, we'll bring, we, we're gonna bring this to the attention of Dr. I'm not saying her name, but um, could bring it to her attention and tell me to get the hell into the orth orthopedic surgeon and let's get this done. <laughs> See, it's stuff like this. This may seem minor to some people, but pain is pain, period. And I feel for these people that are, are not getting the attention they need, I, because I'm going through it. But the VA is notorious, notorious for making you wait. Like the, uh, <laughs> the three Ds that a lot of the employees use <clears throat> that aren't veterans, that are basically there for a nine to five job at a lot of places. Some places are good, some places are not. <clears throat> I get the... Uh, reports from the Office, Office of Inspector General for the VA that shows the screw-ups and the 
crappy management and uh, everything else that goes along. And I've got hundreds of them. It's nuts. But um, uh, their three Ds are delay. No, deny, delay, until they die. That's a fact. Look it up online. Deny, delay, until they die. Some them say delay, 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 or deny, 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 or whatever. But the three Ds, let's look up the three Ds of VA employees. It is all over the internet. All over it. So, <laughs> it's not just me. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of people. A ton. And the series that I want to do, um, well, I, I have everything that we want to do. We want to do a seven-part series um, called Veterans versus the Machine. And the machine being the VA for one, um, society's stupidity for another, um, and just basically the way the veterans are being treated. Um, you, once you uh, become a veteran and you um, drive off that base, you don't matter. You know, bottom line, you don't matter. And, um, and that in itself is, is really, really sad. You know, people are going to argue with me and say, oh, yes, you do ma matter. These people are picking the trash over here. Let's see if I can't turn that around. No, I can't. Right, let's move it on. Anyway, um, in all reality, you don't. If they, if you didn't matter, then it would be things would be taken care of, and the treatment and the homelessness and and the lack of care and understanding wouldn't be like it is now. It would just wouldn't be like it is now. Am I mad about so? Not just from my point of view, but from the way it is point of view. People, I don't care if it's veterans, non-veterans, it's people. People shouldn't be treated the way that they're being treated. Um, you know, it, it. somebody needs to shake things up and say, look, you're not good for this job. Get out. You're done. Get people in there that are good for that job. Um, you know, I, there's too many excuses, and I, I don't, uh, I don't get it. It's, bu it's busy as shit out here today at the park. I mean, I want to do a another series or another talk on: um, Are people really that stupid? Oh, anyway. But, uh, there, I'm babbling today, buddy. You know, I got eight minutes of babbling. But I just, I'm going to, I'm going to be more powerful with that quote series I want to do. My son, who um, really knows what he's doing in the world of video and what people want to see here and how they want to see and hear it and how long and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'm working with him to um, put this together and I really like his ideas. His ideas are a lot better than mine, but <laughs> his is gonna be more effective. Yeah, so I, I like that a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna shut the hell up right now and let you guys, you guys go about your days. And you know, it's cold in Las Vegas. It's 52 degrees right now. Anyway. Go out, make it a great day, have a great night, and an even better day tomorrow. All right, we'll see everybody.